here's a question. So why would it be so hard to do a 30 day smoothie only diet? Why? Just think about it. We like food. We like sitting down and getting that satisfaction from food. And to the degree you suffer in trying to do this challenge for one day, three days, five days, seven days, the more you're connected to food, the more it, it's a strong pattern, a compulsive pattern in your life that's driving you that you haven't broken. And that may be the root of a lot of your issues. Think about it. If you're living just to eat food, how much of a human are you really? Seriously. It's not a very good life. I mean, you just eat food, you feel good, and then you just kind of wallow. Not that, not that you can't eat a lot and just like be happy that you just ate a lot of food, but if that's, if that's what you're using to pacify this feeling of, um, I don't know what else to do with my time, or uh, I don't want to, I don't want to create something that makes the world a better place. If you're using it because you have deficiencies, insecurities, and you just fill yourself with food, thinking that's going to fill that area, then that's an issue. You're not going to live a fulfilled life. So that's why this is an interesting experiment. It's going to show me, you know, when I get those cravings, like, oh, I want to physically eat food. I just want to take time. And it takes a lot of time. And yet we're always spending all this time every single day on eating. And so now I get to see what what my mind is like when I'm when I have all of this time. What am I gonna do with that that extra time? And how attached to actually chewing food am I? Because I'm gonna have all my nourishment. Look, I'll have all my protein, I'll have all my micronutrients, and we'll get into that. But I'm curious to see uh, how much like withdraws I go through wanting to just sit down and get the dopamine hit that you get when you eat a lot of food. I think my weakness was at night, I come home from work, I wanted to sit down with a big plate of food and just, man, that's, that was my reward. And even, I would eat almost until I was full. And that would be, mm, I would kind of regret it every single time. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Not that I would be negative or down on myself or anything, but I would just be like, whoa, I ate so much. I ate so much that like, I don't, I hardly want to like get up and walk to the dishwasher and wash my dishes. Like I don't want to bend over, put my dishes in the dishwasher. I'm like, ugh, I kind of, I ate so much. So no more of that. And we're going to see, um, we're going to see what happens. So we just got a haircut. At home, I cut it myself. No more crazy hair. And we're off to the library to record a video. I'm recording a video today on ashwagandha. And this is what you can expect from me, guys, is I want to make a YouTube library on health information because you can improve your life drastically just by improving your nutrition. But I want to create like a course. I want to create a curriculum that you can watch in the car, wherever you're going, 10, 20 minute episodes about not only superfoods, but the theory of how to figure out how to eat, what foods to eat, understand your body, understand your constitution. I'm gonna be talking about Ayurveda. I'm gonna be talking about Chinese medicine. These are ancient systems that have studied nutrition and the human body to match who you are with what you should eat. And these systems are by far the best systems for figuring out how to eat for optimum performance in your mind, in your body, in your energy. And I'll tell you why. It's not just looking at what's in the food in terms of breaking it down into calories and protein and then fiddling around with those macronutrients. That's all we see here in America. It's understanding the core nature of the food in terms of what qualities does this food have that is gonna give me and affect me when I eat it. And you can tell based on the taste and based on the energetics that it gives you right away and based on how you feel hours after when it digests. We call that 
Rasya, Virya, and um, that means taste, and then the energetics of how you feel when you eat it, and then the post-digestive effect. I don't know how to say it, prob, pradab, yeah. So it looks at all those things that you care about. You can tell the energetics of the food by the taste and how it makes you feel. So it's not just about carbs, protein, and fat, which is very elementary, rudimentary. It's about knowing what your nature is and then matching the foods to balance out your nature. For example, if I'm a very cold person with dry skin, we call that vata. This is a particular energy. So do I want to eat a lot of cold foods that are dry? No, I want to eat a lot of warmer foods, cooked foods, soft foods that are moistening because that's going to help my body feel stronger. See, we get imbalanced in so many ways. I'm just grabbing everything that we need. We're going to record a video here, guys. I need my tripod. We're here at the library. Beautiful library. I love libraries. Ever since I was young. Hanging at the library, hanging at the library, hanging at the library. Don't need no shoes, we're staying outside. Don't need no shoes, look at that blue sky. This is a day that would make anybody happy. We're just gonna mosey over here. We're gonna have a master class on ashwagandha today. So anyways, as I was saying, we're gonna be learning all about these systems of eating. I'm gonna make it basic. I'm gonna condense different books that I've read. That's what you guys are gonna be getting so that you can feel lighter, stronger, more energy, more beauty in your skin, better sleep, better workouts. It's the easiest thing. It's like, if you wanna do personal development, you have to get your health on lock and you have to optimize it. Why wouldn't you? It's the easiest thing that you can possibly do to start raising your success in life. Success. That really just means you feel good and you're making other people feel good. How, how do you have success even if you're making tons of money and have all the best relationships if you don't feel good? You have to feel good or else you're a failure. You're not a success if you don't feel good in your body, in your mind. I think right here is going to be good. Go get the... Oh. These guys, we get those plants in the background. We got our smoothie. We're gonna set up camp right here. Are you ready? All right, so I wanna give you guys some context of who I am and what I'm into. I do massage therapy right now and I have my own little business. I travel around Boca Raton, Florida, beautiful South Florida. And I bring my massage table, I got it back there and I do massage for people and I love to do it. I make my own hours. I love being able to create what I care about in the world. What I care about is healing the world. I want to do it through nutrition too. So right now I'm, uh, I'm gearing up to take out this back seat, listen to this, and put in a juice bar. I want to be able to bring people juice and smoothies. And so I'm going to get with my friend Chris who's uh, really handy. He's like a carpenter. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cooler in here. I want to bring people the same herbs and the same smoothies and the same juices that healed me. So I think I told you a little bit before. Yeah, I'm young, but I've had a lot of things go wrong with my body. I've been through depression. I've been through chronic fatigue. I've had a lot of acne, sexual dysfunction, and just widespread pain throughout my whole body. And for sure, for sure the herbs, for sure the food change things. Like eating the wrong foods, fixing that, and then eating the right foods, fixing that. So that's why I'm all about this smoothie lifestyle. And um, you know, I really like thinking deeply about life. And one thing that I would always do that I didn't like about, about my life was sometimes I'd come home from work and you know the feeling, you just be hungry, you just want to relax and from I don't know six o'clock or six thirty I would cook dinner and then I would just eat dinner and veg out for the rest of the night 
I wouldn't be able to study. I wouldn't be able to go out and socialize. I would just be home and try to read, kind of falling asleep. And um, I wouldn't really get that much done. My productivity just sank. And I realized <clears throat> how much of a slave I was to food and how much it was controlling what I did, even going out to socialize. If I felt heavy and just, if I overate that night, I just wouldn't go out. So it was controlling my social life. It was messing with my sleep. You can't really sleep that well if you have a full stomach. I was eating late that night and um, your energy levels just drop. And your brain changes, my brain would change. I couldn't even focus and read. I would just read a sentence over and over and not, not really read it. My eyes would look at it, you know. And uh, so it occurred to me that I have to get serious about what I'm eating, how I'm eating, my relationship with food. And so over the years, I've changed things one step at a time. And it does take time for sure. This isn't something that you can just fix right away. And now I'm at the point where I feel like I cherish and value the feeling of energy and being able to do do what I want with high energy, good emotions. I socialize way more now. I just, I love the way I feel and I'm able to give myself to what I care about instead of just uh, satisfying myself with dopamine that comes from food and overeating. I'm just being real. And um, I know that a lot of people probably deal with that is when you're bored, what do you do? You eat. When you have nothing to do, you eat. When you feel a little bit depressed, you eat. When you feel like uh, you had a hard day, what do you do? You eat. And what does this cause? Sometimes we just take the easiest food too. So we're not just eating and depending on the food for our life satisfaction, but we're eating the wrong things, the easy things, the fast things. And so some people will get acne because they're not paying attention to what they're eating. Some people will get fat because they're overeating. And some people like me will develop energy issues and chronic fatigue because you're constantly loading your system, your digestive system with food. And that takes a lot of energy. So instead of giving it to your brain and to your organs, it's trying to digest all this food, especially if it's not the easiest to digest food. So um, that's why I'm doing this smoothie is the perfect solution it's the most powerful tool that i can give people that i've found in the terms of nutrition because it handles multiple things at once it handles the protein because i put bone broth protein powder in there it's amazing it handles hydration how many people are dehydrated you get all your hydration you get your fruits and your vegetables you can get three servings of each of those hair is out of control. You gotta go trim this when I get home. Uh, you get your fruits and your vegetables and then you can put your superfoods. You can put your adaptogens, your maca, your ashwagandha, your pine pollen, your creatine, um, and then your spices that are gonna prevent disease. I mean, God, guys. Why wouldn't you have smoothies? Why wouldn't you just do one smoothie a day? You know, I just want to give that idea. I want to implant that idea keep on implanting that idea. I just gonna keep on talking about it. That's why I'm doing this thing. You know, I wanna make a statement. I wanna make a statement that you can change your life so quickly just by including one smoothie a day for a meal. Don't blame me, you have to try it. You have to put the right things though. Nourish yourself with the right things. And um, if, you're, if you're eating unhealthy, yes, for sure. This is the easiest thing that you can possibly do to start changing your mind, your energy, your looks, your strength, your energy, your self-image even. You start handling your sense slavery to your tongue. Once you master even a little bit of that, your self-image changes. You start feeling more in control. You have more self-advocacy, more self-esteem. You're not a slave for these things, you know? Some people... I can imagine I felt like this. I felt like food was kind of like controlling me, it was running me. It was, it was dictating so much of my life. 
and I just said, no, nah, it's, it's too much, it's enough. I'm not gonna be like this anymore. So I'm fighting back with the smoothies, and uh, I love it so far. Day one complete. 